Okay, just got done seeing um, Detective Pikachu. Yes. Which, uh, you know, it, it's an anim- it's an animated movie, I guess. Well, not really. And not it was live action. Live action mixed in with a bunch of stuff in it. Uh, maybe you can explain it better than me. <laughs> it's it's a video game movie. You know, video game movies just tend to be shit. But this one, I would say, is probably one of the better video game movies in terms of in terms of production and. Uh, the quality of the movie and the acting was, you know, pretty good. Uh, I didn't actually like the movie myself, really. I thought the tone was just all over the place. But I got a feeling that most people that are into Pikachu-type video games would love the movie, probably. So, you know, I'm not the really intended audience. Um, what do you make of it, Jay? Yeah, it's like it, it wasn't bad, but I'm not like I'm not a huge like Pokemon. Uh, fan, so it's like, you know, I knew enough about it that, you know, I could follow the story and I knew, like, what some of the characters' powers were and stuff like that, so I wasn't, like, completely, uh, you know, it didn't kind of come completely out of left field or anything, like, I sort of knew what was going on. And I kind of liked the way they did, um, kind of like, it was, you know, it was like a mystery story, so it was that they had, like, a little bit of a noir thing going on. Um, I have to say, probably the best thing, I mean, easily the best thing about it was Ryan Reynolds doing, uh, Pikachu. So, you know, and he kind of shows up at the end as well because there's like a whole thing. I don't want to like spoil it for anybody in case yeah. anybody wants to see it. But it's based on, you know, not only based on Pokemon as a, as a whole, but it was based on a particular video game called Detective Pikachu. So I'm not sure. I've never played the game, so I don't know how close the story is to the thing. But it has to do with the scientist, and he has like invented some gas that like makes all the Pikachu like flip out or like get ragey or whatever and then he's trying and then there's like this scientist that's like trying to I guess he's trying to like put them together somehow or like is doing something there's a lot of evolution. stuff about it that doesn't make any sense and a lot of stuff was just kind of never really resolved about you know giant turtles and shit like that the, the, uh, for me the, the the big problem with the movie is it feel it, the movie to me is obviously Blade, uh, uh, Blade Runner uh, Prometheus and Aliens. It, it's it, it's that universe. But then the Peach, Pikachu thing is kind of forced into this movie to make it a Pikachu movie. I mean, instead of aliens and, and uh, instead of replicants and instead of you know engineers, you got these Pikachu things. It just this would have been a pretty serious sci-fi adventure if if it wasn't about Pikachu's. It's kind of like they forced that into Pokemon. this. Pokemon. Or Pokemon. Or Pokemon. I mean, there's more than one Who Pikachu. Who gives a shit? You know what I mean? They're fucking funny. Well, he was the only one. That yeah, he was the one that was named Pikachu. <laughs> they were called Pokemon. Who gives a shit? All right. Pocket he sounds monster. like an old man. <laughs> yeah. You know, Pocket Monster to me is something, you know, I'm carrying around. A fucking Pocket Monster. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I don't give a shit about this. It's just that it looks like they had a, a science fiction movie that was modified into a Pokemon. Yeah, you said, and I'm not sure if this is the case, but I just I, there's some totally saying that this yeah. seemed like a script that was originally maybe, something else. But like I said, since it was based on a specific video game, maybe not. But I'm yeah. not really sure how close the video game is to the movie. But yeah, it was, it's like I enjoyed it, but it's not, you know, it, Pokemon. Is, like I said, isn't really my thing. I don't know a huge amount about it. I knew enough about it to follow along with the story. Um, you know, and Ryan Reynolds was funny. He's always funny. I like him. So you know. It's, it could have been better, could have been worse. I'm sure a lot of people that are into Pokemon will really dig it. If you're into Pokemon, you're going to love this shit. If you don't give a fuck about Pokemon, you're just, this thing's just going to be a piece of shit. Yeah, it seems to skew pretty young. I would think yeah. it's like... I mean, I'm sure like maybe like people in their 20s and 30s can enjoy it, but I yeah. feel like it's kind of more geared toward... Younger, I was just going, come on. Like, like preteen, I feel like it's geared more toward that Yeah, age, but, yeah. So. It's, I'm not the intended target yeah. audience. So. <laughs> I'm just gonna fuck off. Right about now, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go hang out with the with the Pikachu. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, we just got done seeing Ugly Doll. Ugly Dolls or Ugly, ugly Dolls? dolls. The ugly Dolls. Oh, yeah, animated movie. Animation was pretty good. It all looked like fabric and cardboard. I thought that was shit. super cool. Like everything yeah. like quilted and like everything was like stitched together and yeah. stuff like that. I thought it was, that a was musical, a really cool look. It was a musical too. It had kind of catchy tunes. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, a lot of Acting kind of famous, good. a lot of kind of famous singers. Kelly Clarkson, um, one yeah. of the Jonas Brothers, I think it was Nick Jonas. Uh, he played kind of the little main bad, yeah. bad guy. The um, theme of this one is about appearances, you know. Two separate sets of dolls inside of a doll factory. One of them are ugly dolls, the other one like little perfect dolls. And the theme is about appearance, you know. And then it's all kind of resolved in the end that the purpose of the doll, the purpose of a doll is to have love and compassion, and they got all got along in the end. It, it's a little kids feel good story. There's there's little kid in the audience. There's little kids in the audience with us. They were just loving it, you know. Yeah, they were super into um, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's not really for us, but I, I tolerated it. I liked it a lot better than the Pikachu movie. I actually did too. I thought yeah. this was quite adorable. Um, yeah. It wasn't obnoxious. No, like the songs were really cute. The animation was really cool. Like I really yeah. enjoyed like looking at all the details, especially how it all looked like tactile. It all looked like yeah. fabric and stuff. Um, the songs, especially the little villain songs that Nick Jonas did, were yeah. very very funny, and I really yeah. really liked those. And I liked the way it was shot, like with all scary shadows and shit like that. Yeah. But yeah, these are based on. I remember the Ugly Dolls coming out. The toys. Yeah. God, that must have been the nineties. I don't know. I remember seeing the maybe in Hot Topic or something like that. And I always thought they were super cute. So um but yeah, this is kind of a thing where the ugly dolls, you know, they they live in this little village where they don't know but they find out later that they were the rejects from the doll factory because they had like you know, yeah. some of them only had one eye or they were like fucked up shit on their head or whatever. So they kind of got kicked off to yeah. some other place. But they didn't know that at the time, so they were super happy. But then when they find out that all the dolls are supposed to be perfect and are supposed to be pretty and stuff, then they kind of get all bummed out about it. But there's like, it's kind of like a cool little message and all the yeah, cool If you got an ugly kid, you can take it to an ugly kid. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Did, <laughs> I did, you know, the, the fucking... These movies are not for us, and they're definitely not for me. We, we're not the intended market in, in the same way that they are for kids. The idea of these things is, from the adult perspective, can you take a kid to go see it? Will the kid enjoy it, and will it, or will it, and will it drive you fucking crazy or not? Yeah. If it drives you fucking crazy, it's a failure. I don't think this would do it. Because, I, like I said, I thought this right. was super cute and I don't even have and, the kids. Yeah, and it's this a one, similar theme to Toy Story, actually. Yeah. Kind of a similar... And this one didn't drive me crazy. It was enjoyable. I could kind of zone out and just enjoy it. Go, yeah, whatever. And not try to think too much about it. And, uh, you know what I mean? You'd be able to take your kid to it and it wouldn't drive you fucking crazy. So, yeah. It's, it was a good movie. Yeah. I lo and like it did I said, what it had to do. I think I liked it better than the Pikachu movie as well. Yeah. I didn't mind the Pikachu movie as much as you did. No, I didn't like it. But that was a piece of shit. I, I still liked. Uh, I still liked the Ugly Dolls movie. Yeah, maybe better. Ugly Doll was probably better. <laughs> but it's for even a younger audience. But like I said, and I also kind of zoned out during parts of it. You know, just oh yeah, yeah, yeah okay, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just when it comes to little kids movies like that, I'm just my for me is for the question for me is is this fucker driving me crazy? Yeah. And if it's not annoying me, then I'm happy. Yeah. Because if, I wouldn't go see this on my own. I would only go if I had to take a kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I had a kid. or. And no, honestly, no. I think the kids are probably like really... Kids were loving it, I yeah. mean, it's, it's awesome looking. I really, yeah. really liked the, the whole look of it and the whole, you know, aesthetic of it was really cool. And the songs were cute. Like, yeah. all the characters were cute. I just thought it was cute. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> Okay, yeah, John Wick 3 Parabellum. Uh, if you've seen John Wick 1 and 2, you won't be disappointed. This bitch is fucking badass. <laughs> um, it's just more of the same. It's, it's like the other ones. I'd probably put it on par with... Well, it's hard, it, it's hard to put one above another one, I think. I think all the movies are pretty much equally good. Yeah. But, uh, no, if you like 1 and 2, it, it fucking delivers. I mean, you know, fucking ridiculous fucking... Gun kung fu and gun porn. It was fucking awesome, you know. It's just it was like it was just like one and two. Um, cool locations, cool outfits, product placement and shit. Fucking <laughs> high quality watches and motorcycles and it's just I, nothing I, to complain I gotta, about it. I gotta say, I really liked. They had some like really good gore in this. Had some yeah. uh, Lucio Fulci level eye trauma, which I yeah. enjoyed very much. Yeah. Um, I think probably my favorite, I mean, because there was, this is pretty much 
I mean, just like one and two is pretty much like just one long fight scene. Yeah, like, there's not much talking in it. <laughs> not really. Kind of like Mad Max Fury Road, just a it's show just, and not talk. Like I not said, telling. if you've seen one and two, it's like I think this one starts what like an hour after the second one. Yeah. Ends right because after yeah. that whole thing, and then when they declare him like excommunicado, yeah. which means that everyone in the yeah. pretty much in the world yeah. um, that's associated with the high table, uh, you know, is out to get him. You know, yeah. it's like a 14 million dollar uh, bounty, which is later up to a 15 million dollar bounty. So, pre so pretty much he can't go anywhere without like every yeah. motherfucker like trying right. to kill his ass. And, uh, but yeah, I really like that. The one knife fight with like where he yeah. was that was really funny. Yeah. Like the one of the first knife fights. The whole thing is just one big long mafia fantasy. Yeah. Really, you know, mafia I fantasy liked a action lot of, film. I liked a lot of the humor in it. Yeah. Too. Like it's just yeah. this kind of. The tone's just right. I mean, you can't. It is. You can't. This can be violent. It can be exciting. It, you can't take this real seriously. I mean, the shit that they're doing is just. That isn't the way. That isn't the way gunfights are. It's just, it just doesn't go that way. But it looks fucking cool on camera. The movie's about style. Style yeah. and, and... And it's just yeah. a fun yeah. movie. I mean, yeah. we saw it in the Dolby Theater. And we saw it yeah. late. We saw it's like we saw the one it's that started packed. at 10.15 yeah. and it was packed. Yeah. Actually, we were going to see the earlier one, but it was full. Full, yeah. So uh, we came to the later one to see it. Yeah. That was, this one was almost There's full. Plenty I think of, there was only a couple of seats on Plenty of fucking, like, gangster rituals that they have to do. And just... It's just fucking... That's just, it's... It's 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 imagine if a mafia a hitman movie was a cartoon or a comic book. That's what it's like. Yeah. But it's real stylish and shit. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. I love the John Wick movies, yeah. and this one is like. So oh yeah, fun. and this is not the end. Of course, they set it right up for nope. four. Yeah. So there's, there's gonna, gonna be, a lot. be another one because like you the can, end, I was like. Ooh. Right. Another thing that was awesome is that it's all all old dudes doing this shit. Fucking, <laughs> fucking dudes in their 40s and 50s doing fucking kung fu, and you're like, and they're like really doing it. It looks like it. Yeah, kicking over their heads and shit. <laughs> you know, fucking. I like Keanu Reeves. He's all right. I mean, he's pretty cool, and he's he's perfect for this role. I mean, he still runs like a fucking surfer boy, though. He runs fucking funny. <laughs> you I know. Didn't <laughs> yeah, he runs. He runs like some out of Bill and Ted's man. He got that same run. <laughs> Runs like he's joking, you know. <laughs> Although that's better than Steven Seagal's run. St Steven Seagal runs like a bitch. Now, Steven Seagal I've, I runs have like a bitch. I've, I have noticed his flaps his arms like run. a bunch of chicken wings and shit. Fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Reeves doesn't run like a bitch though. He just runs like a surfer. Yeah. <laughs> like he's been smoking a joint. Which smoking pro joint. which he yeah. probably has. Hey man, we're good. Oh. Hey, yeah. He's yeah. big. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool, mom. Yeah, you know, I, I can't. I enjoyed it very much. Like yeah. I said, I've liked all the John Wick movies, yeah. and you know, if you like the first two, I don't see why you wouldn't like this one because it's completely yeah. badass. Yeah, I, I got a, I got a, I got a feeling this is going to be the best movie of the month. I think for me, I mean, you know, my opinion. Yeah, I think it probably one. will. Yeah. Oh, I should say that before this one, we saw the first, for the first time, we saw the trailer for it. Yeah, the new it that looks two. good. Yeah, yeah, and that looks really good yeah <laughs> so all right we got it's late we gotta go yeah